want to know how to make the most epic gaming video of all time? Yes! Well, you've come to the right place! <laughs> but wait, you haven't even got a video yet! So get on Google, and we'll type in OBS, because this is what you'll use to record. Click the first link, and it will bring you to this website, and then click your platform that you're on. I'm guessing most of you are going to be on Windows, but the small majority of upper class that are watching are on Mac. Yeah, and I have no idea what that is. And then, just record some footage with your friends. Unless you're all alone and sad. But don't worry, editing can make you look cool. So turn that frown upside down. And now you gotta do is open up Premiere Pro. And if you don't have it, the link in the description to get it for free. But you didn't hear that from me. Once you're in Premiere Pro, open up a new project and name your project something memorable. And BAM! A clean project! A promise for to be painted! <coughs> Sorry, uh, what would it? Oh, tutorial, yeah. Once you're in, go to file, find the recording of the game you just played, or whatever you're recording. I don't care, I'm why not? Anyway, then you drag it into the timeline at the bottom, and your clip should appear ready to edit. Firstly, what you have to do is sit through your whole recording and pick out the parts you want to edit. All what I do is I just grab the blue line and go straight to where I want to cut. To get the snipping tool, press C. With this, you can cut up your audio or video by hovering over and pressing the mouse button. Once you've got the clips you want, you can click and drag or right click and ripple delete. Are you all caught up? Am I going too fast? Slow down, big fella! <laughs> okay, so I think everyone knows what green screening is. It's just when you remove the green background. <laughs> but what people don't know is it can be other colours, like blue as well. I personally use this a lot in my videos because I think it adds an extra effect, like this for example. You're a fucking idiot! Firstly, you just want to go onto YouTube, type in just really any meme you want and add green screen on the end. You should be able to find the video you want. <laughs> yep, that should be good. Then just copy the link and paste it into any MP3 converter, or I use 4K video downloader. And then you drag the green screen clip over the video that you want the meme to be on. Then you simply go up to your effects panel, which if you don't have, click Windows and then click Effects. Once that's done, type in the search bar for Ultra Key and just drag the effect onto the green screen clip. A small pin drop will appear on your effect controls, so just select that and go to the clip and press the green. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Yes, sir! Now that you can do that, just add everything you need and have a look at the final product. Okay, so I think you're all smart enough to know what zooms are. But tracking is just when a shot follows something. So here's an example. Firstly, you find the place you want to zoom in. Then you go up to the effects control panel and find scale and position. Or what I prefer is to go to effects and type in transform and drag that on top of the clip. Once the clip's selected and you've dragged the blue line to where you want the zoom to be, then go to the effects control panel and find transform. Then select scale and position keyframe, which is the stopwatch right next to it. And then move the blue line to where you want the zoom to be and scale up and position where you want the zoom to be. And this is why we use transform. This is where the magic is. Highlight the first two keyframes and right click one of them. Select temporal interpolate and then select ease out. And then highlight the second two and do the same thing, but select Ease In. This just creates a smoother zooming. And what Transform can do, and normal scales can't, is you can uncheck the box, use composition shutters, and increase the shutter angle for a blur in a zoom. And it creates quite a cool effect. Let's go! Now for tracking. This effect also uses keyframes, and what you do is just, you move along the blue line, frame by frame if you want, or longer, just, and then move the position to where you want it to be so it can track something, like this train for instance. And then take a look at the final product.
Okay, okay, a bit of a trash example, but here's a good example where I use it. Number three! Matt, mind out! Yeah. <laughs> Firstly, press T or go over to this little text box and just press it. Then just press anywhere on the program window and type what you want. Do it. Now we're going to combine that with another effect we've learnt. Tracking. Explosion. So pick the text you want to track with. Dickhead! Then using the exact same technique as before, press the little stopwatch and track the position. It should look a little something like this. Bloody hell, you want to kill me? And there it is. The end of the video. If there's anything else you want me to do a tutorial on, let me know. Like the video and subscribe. I'll be doing more if you want. And usual gaming videos will return. So. Hello guys, it's Jovan. And you know what time it is? Discord time.